Elijah Muhammad had a job to do. He was to make manifest God, the devil, self, and the time. He did that job. And one day, I was on the radio in New York, and I was kind of going in on white folks. And sometimes, when you have knowledge, and it condemns somebody that's been tearing you to pieces, you love it when you get a truth that you can fire back. I was with Brother Malcolm. He was a follower of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad for 12 or 13 years. And I was with him at Harvard. I was with him at several colleges. He just tore people up. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. And he only went to the eighth grade. There was something that the Honorable Elijah Muhammad taught him that he took into his heart. And he was not afraid to recite the history that he learned of the white race. When we would come out to Chicago for Savior's Day, he would take a group of us over to the museum of science and industry, I think. Sorry? Natural history over here, where they're going to build Brother Barack's uh, library. Okay, whatever it is, it's a library. <laughs> and in that library, there was a section that talked about white people in the hills and cave sides of Europe. And we would gather around Brother Malcolm and he would point it out. The white man that you see terrorizing the world today, he was in the caves of Europe. Didn't know how to cook his food. Didn't know how to bury his dead. He went savage. Went. Went. That means he wasn't savage at one time, but he went savage. This is very important for you to know the history. To all of you that are listening around the world, you don't know the white man. And many white people don't know themselves. But the wise among them do know. What is it to know? Oh, wait a minute, Farrakhan. My father is white. Okay. Wait a minute, Farrakhan. My mother's white. Okay. It's all right. You are not. 